born on October 31st, 1895, to a ballerina from Vienna, Austria, the medium Maria Orsic was leader of the German Vril Society. Dedicated to the study and practice of metaphysics and the occult, the Vril Maidens did not cut their hair. They claimed that their long strands helped facilitate contact with beings from beyond and helped harness what they called Vril. Edward Bulwer Lytton's book, The Coming Race, published in 1871, described an advanced civilization that dwelled below the surface of the earth who had mastered this mysterious energy form called Vril. Helena Blavatsky, the foundress of the Theosophical Society, described Vril energy as an ether stream that could be transformed into a physical force. Ancient antediluvian civilizations were said to have mastered this universal life force and that they guarded this knowledge, passing it through initiation into sacred mystery schools. The Chinese refer to it as Qi, the Hindu as Prana, the Japanese as Reiki. A more modern term for this universal life force is Orgone, which is defined as the basic building block of all organic and inorganic matter and is closely associated with sexuality. The term itself shares a root with the word orgasm. Coined by Dr. William Reich, orgon was seen as a massless, omnipresent substance similar to ether, and although mainstream science still does not acknowledge much else other than electricity and magnetism, Albert Pike once said that, and I quote, there is in nature one most potent force by means whereof a single man who could possess himself of it and should know how to direct it could revolutionize and change the face of the world. My name is Robert Sepper. I'm an author and anthropologist and I'd like to invite you to explore the occult secrets of Vril. <laughs>